Today I'm preparing mild flavored, very concentrated beef bone broth and uh, the flavors will be very mild and neutral as I said because this bone broth will be used in a variety of different cuisines. Um, I'll cook Vietnamese and Eastern European and Italian using this beef bone broth. So I do not want it to be dominated by any of those flavors, but rather be neutral, as I said. So I'm, all I'm using is cilantro root, bay leaf, and some shallots. Normally I would use carrots, but it's July in Texas, and we don't have any carrots in our garden. So right here I have baked uh, beef bones, baked very gently. I do not want them to be brown. I don't want the flavor of the broth to be too strong. Then I have some filtered water as well. So what I'm going to do, I will gently boil all of this for about, what's it now, four until 10 or 11, about six, seven hours. Then I will let it stay overnight and then boil it for another couple of hours tomorrow morning, after which I will cool the mixture and will freeze it in small batches to use further with different other dishes and then only I will flavor it um, when I prepare a meal specific specific to the cuisine I'm cooking that day when I cook Eastern European I will use some dill then when I use it when I cook Italian I will use thyme and oregano and when I use French I will use even more flavors so so far it's going to be pretty mild I forgot to mention that I bake the bones because first of all it improves the flavor and second of all it facilitates the leaching of the calcium and other nutrients and minerals from the bones because the structure of the bone is undermined after being baked. Another thing, I'm not getting rid of any of the fat. Remember this uh, broth will be concentrating, concentrated, I will be diluting it with water when I cook. And if you ever read a, rest, a in, list of ingredients of bouillon cube, you notice that one of the main ingredients is uh, beef fat. So I am uh, leaving the precious flavorful fat as an essential part of this broth. My beef broth is ready. You can see those connective gelatin-like tissues fell off the bones and a lot of the bone marrow leached into the uh, liquid as well, as well as hopefully the calcium and minerals and gelatin as well. So I'm going to let it cool completely, uh, strain it, divide into smaller batches and use it within about two or three weeks. And I make this broth uh, about every two or three weeks because we use it in all kind of dishes. Uh, as far as bones, I'm going to put them in the middle of my compost pile and let the calcium benefits my plants. So here we go.